Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian at Whisper Status 74. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me. Please consider liking and subscribing. We are real tech for real people. Today's video will be a tech therapy video. It'll be on the latest debacle of the LG C1 and G1 and their HD CP 2.2 uh, certification nightmare that is plaguing brand new buyers of this amazing panel. Hey, what's up guys? This video again is on the LG C1 and G1. There has been an issue with HDCP 2.2 certification. What we're seeing is the panels cannot pass through 4K HDR through the four HDMI 2.1 inputs that are on, on this panel. Actually, one of the biggest selling points of the LG C1 and G1. Now, I heard about this about a week ago from good friend and community men member Ian Steve You'll see a picture of him on the screen here. You'll also see his comments throughout the beginning of this video. Basically, Ian, um, who I definitely feel for, has gone through, you know, bad panel after bad panel. He had an issue with the Next 95 and decided to settle on the C1. He also had an issue with the Q90R never being updated with true eARC support. So he's not very confident on LG's ability to remedy this with a firmware update. I think they will, but this will be the topic of what we're talking about today. Um, we'll start by saying this is unforgivable. This can't happen. You're talking about panels that are out there September, October, and onward um, that cannot do 4K HDR from their HDMI um, inputs. They can do their streaming and all that. However, most of us or all of us that game are using the HDMIs, 4K Blu-rays, you're finding that you're at 1080p, there is no HDR, and that is the base of what these panels can do. Their base um performance or their base meaning and job is to just show you 4k hdr the reason i'm doing this video is you know ian asked me to bring it up you'll see it in one of his comments i thought he was the only one i also saw vincent's video today where he brought it up so i figured i better talk to my community on this subject and what i advise you guys do it's also the worst possible time as it is around black friday the c1 and the g1 are at their all-time lows i did a video last week on the 77 inch being dropped in price so many of you are waiting Waiting right now to pull the trigger. Now, um, the reason I think this is unforgivable, and you'll see this in one of um, Ian's comments, it's not just the money. It's not just buying something and bringing it home. The real challenge is before this became a known issue, he spent hours troubleshooting, trying to figure out if it was him, hard reset, um, different cables, bought new cables. Was it his consoles? That time is worth something. That time of troubleshooting is not fun, especially with a brand new device that you're hoping out of the box looks amazing and now we know with panels and tvs we're afraid of banding and defects does it work we already are on edge due to the panel lottery to have an issue like this and then have my buddy ian go through the forums try and find it make sure he's not the only one speak to lg initially get no real response speak to the retailer he purchased it from get brushed off a little bit and then finally find out as he puts in one of these comments that lg has responded and they will fix it with a firmware update all of that time all of that uh worry and oh my god i just spent this much money and it's not even working awful which is why we do these tech therapy videos that's why these videos actually exist that time is valuable doesn't matter how much money you have or if you have kids or you have a job or you're busy your time is valuable and to spend that time in distress thinking that you bought something that is no good or broken and we're not talking about elevated blacks here or some banding or maybe things are cutting in and out we're talking about it doesn't do its base purpose which is 4k hdr and there's many games that we've been waiting for i can't wait for battlefield which comes out tonight if you told me i couldn't play that in 4k hdr i'd be furious waiting for a software update is what they're saying it may take a few weeks it may take a month um the problem for you guys is what do you do 
And the reason why I want to put out this video is that I recommend this panel every single day. I do feel responsible. I do have to do a video on this to tell you that I'm aware of it now. Um, I was aware of it a few days ago, but thought that it was an isolated incident with my buddy's panel. I'd never heard that it couldn't do 4K HDR. That's not a normal defect of these panels. And with LG, this is weird issue for them, but they've had misses in the past. You know, kind of the misinformation with the 48 gigabytes per second and 40 gigabytes per second. Then you also have the um, Evo panel debacle that was in the beginning of the year. Some larger panels such as this 83 inch are supposedly Evo. Some smaller panels were Evo initially. Then it was shut off and there was all that. You have to have trust in any relationship you have with any of these manufacturers manufacturers and retailers. I love the C1. I recommend it every single day. As far as gaming, it's gaming features, what it offers. It's really the only game in town. The Dolby Vision 120, variable refresh rate, G-Sync, FreeSync, 4K 120. It does everything. The problem is you just bought it and it doesn't do 4K HDR. That is a problem. So what do I suggest you do? Uh, for me, LG has already recognized this as an issue. They've already put out a statement that this would be fixed in an upcoming update. What I would do is uh, if I were you guys, and this is the problem too, because I can't say to you, if you really like the C1, grab the A80 or grab an A90 or grab a Panasonic or grab a Samsung. If you had your heart set on it for this specific features and what it offers, none of those panels really offer what this one does. You've also waited for the price to fall. The challenge is the price won't always stay at that low price. So what I would do is I would personally, if it was me, because they've already acknowledged that, and it's not like this is a VRR update where they can drag their feet and say, ah, down the road, we'll get to it. This is its base function of 4K HDR. I, pr I think it'll be a very swift update. I don't think it'll take very long. It could be as simple as just certification being enabled. It is a software problem, not a hardware problem with the HDMI inputs themselves. It shouldn't be that difficult to just unlock it or grant certification for HDCP 2.2. So what would I do if I already have one one, the first thing I would do if you're having this issue, um, if, and if you're seeing this video and you're seeing this issue for the first time, chances are it's a brand new panel. So you've just started your return window. Literally, you just bought it. I don't care where you bought it from. You need to make a phone call or whether it's a retailer you can drive to. Let them know that this is a known issue, that this is something that LG has acknowledged. The retailer, if they're worth those, their salt, will know it too. Doesn't take long to figure out this is a known issue now and ask them to expand your turn window. Switching this panel out for another one, chances are it's not going to help as these are all new panels, not made in November. They're made in September and on. So chances are even places like Value Electronics, which is a smaller retailer, their panels are out quick and Best Buy, they're out fast. So there really isn't a lot of inventory. I would contact your retailer. Tell them about the issue. Say you don't really want to bring this back if you don't have to, to extend your window. And in the meantime, what you'll be able to do is at least check the streaming, see your screen uniformity, make sure it's a panel that you really, really like if you decide to keep it or not. But if you have your heart set on the C1 um, and all the features it does offer once it does its base ones of 4K, it is an amazing panel. It does everything well. Where my heart goes out for those of you outside of the US is the return policies in UK and Canada and other regions are very unforgiving. So there shouldn't be in your phone call of I don't like or hey, this might not be working. You your script should be LG knows this is an issue. They know it's a serious problem and they are going to address it. What you need to know is by saying that they're admitting there's a problem and tell the retailer that you need extended time if you want to hold on to the panel. I can understand many of you being very frustrated. I would be furious because I use everything on these inputs. I am not a big streaming guy. I am a 4K Blu-ray guy. I am an Xbox, PS5, PC guy. 
and you're telling me there's no pass through um, even for 4K, let alone HDR. So this is a real problem. Again, for my buddy Ian, shout out to Ian. Again, he's had all kinds of problems with panels. The Q90R, I meant to do a video on that and my apologies, mate. I meant to do one a while ago that Samsung had promised eARC support and never delivered. And that's a huge function that many of us use every day. But the problem with this HTCP thing is it should not slip through the cracks this easily. You're talking about maybe the most popular panel this year. The C9, the CX, and the C1 have become um, LG's biggest seller. And the G1 being their luxury brand. You're talking about their entire lineup of high-end panels. But the C1 is that value-based one. I don't know if this affects the um, A1 this year. I've not heard that yet. I do know it affects all sizes. Um, if you are in the comments and you have a brand new panel, please let me know if you're having this issue. Or maybe it's not happening to them all. But from what I understand, it's happening to a good deal of them. Ian does mention in one of these comments that some people in the U.S. are requiring board changes. I have not heard that yet um, in any of the research that I've done. But please let me know what you think. Ian, much love, my friend. I'm so sorry you're going through this. And for all of you that I recommended these C1s and G1s to, I apologize. I I do feel responsible when I recommend a panel to you. Um, if you don't like it, you don't like it. But if something doesn't function on it, I do feel responsible. So please let me know what you think in the comments, guys. For me, I would honestly hold on to it since LG has said they are going to update it. Contact the retailer. Let them know, as I mentioned, that you will need a either a larger return window um, you need some kind of time. Um, and if they don't give that to you, I would bring the panel back straight away and either wait or purchase from somebody you know that will accept the return if this is not going to be rectified by LG. But this should not happen, guys. All this um, software update, firmware update affecting picture quality, affecting functionality is a real issue in games, movies, everything that we love. The problem is, it's so necessary. Everything goes out incomplete. I don't know if this was a rush by them to uh, make up for panels like they did with the Evo panels. I'm not sure why it is. I can't even pretend to know why. But all I care about is what you guys think, how you guys feel. And the opening of a new panel and... Setting it up is not always a pleasurable thing. A lot of times it's a nervous thing. Is it okay? Is it the way shipping is now? Did it come on time? You know, where are we? How's the screen? Does everything work? It's hours upon hours of research, uh, waiting, anticipation, and to have it spoiled for any reason is devastating. It's awful. And to say that you might have to wait a few weeks is also terrible. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I think they will fix this rather quickly. They better, because this is a huge seller, the C1 and the G1. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Let me know if you've experienced this. Also, let me know in detail if you um, do have a newer panel and have not experienced this. That's something I do want to hear. These comments are very important. Let me know, or Ian, if you're in this and you watch this again, I'm so sorry, buddy. Please help people in the comments if you can as you've spoken to LG directly. All right, guys, take care. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. I've seen you.